ծանցության եւ ծանր բահերին քեզ եմ հիշում դույմ վահանես իսկ ես քովեկան հաղթանակի Good afternoon. It's great to be here with you today to share this message of Armenian Christianity today. Let's begin by proclaiming our faith in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Of course, this week our attention is on Oklahoma. Of course, we're thinking, we're praying about the people in Oklahoma. We saw just a few days ago the devastation that was caused by the hurricane that ripped through that state as it did so to so many states in that area through the heartland of America and our hearts go out to people go out to the families that were devastated especially those people who suffered loss and we know that the the tornadoes so it won't be the the last one it's not the first one it won't be the last one just as so many other natural disasters those of you who watch from the east coast know about the blizzards those of you from uh, well specifically in louisiana those of you watching from down there know that uh, the, uh, the the hurricanes the devastation that they could cause and the levees breaking and we see the flooding here in california we suffer with natural disaster one specifically called the earthquake which doesn't even give you a warning and all of a sudden it takes place taking of course property and tragically many times lives there are so many different uh, natural disasters and they point to the imperfection of this world they point to the crowding of this world they point to our inability to come to terms with our I- environment to take control our inability to take responsive action but of course as these tragedies come up we have an opportunity to respond the other day i was on the uh, salvation army website trying to make a donation and what caught me so beautifully it says we are reacting to devastation with acts of god and think about it so many times especially insurance companies call these kind of tragedies acts of god no the real act of god is how we react those first responders that are there on the scene you so many millions of people contributing giving a part of yourself that's the act of god and i thought when i read that on the salvation army side it's so beautifully said because it changes the focus what is the real focus what is that act of god if not the act of love reaching out to people and so we as armenians as armenian christians have been on the receiving end of natural disaster as well as on the receiving end of help the natural disaster most recently was uh, 25 years ago in armenia where we were hit by a major earthquake that claimed from 25 to 50,000 lives and this was of course uh, during the soviet era and they were uh, they pointed to the construction of the the buildings but bottom line is that it was act, it was it was these acts that took place with without us being able to comprehend because they were so big and so as people the only thing that we know how to do is really to respond in acts of compassion and acts of love by reaching out by wanting to help and that's so beautiful because you know it is really our ability to react that uh, that defines us it's in the giving it's how we give to others that defines who we are and when we talk about armenian christianity it's very important to understand that that act of god has to begin with us you see we live in a global community and as the world is getting smaller of course but that expression sometimes i know uh, younger people especially when they hear that they say what do you mean the world is getting smaller does that mean we're collapsing on ourselves no it just means that we have opportunities to know so many people whereas before say 100 years ago you would know basically the people in your town in your village maybe 50 years ago you might know the people in your city today because of technology because of the means because of 
of travel. We know people on the other side of the planet. We know people in different communities. And basically the world is getting smaller. But think about it in these terms. We have an obligation as Armenian Christians to reach out, first of all, to our families, right? If our family is in pain, you have an obligation to reach out. As parents, as a father, as a mother, as children, you take care of your parents as they grow older, right? And so we have an obligation to our family, but what is that family? One day when Jesus was uh, teaching, they came up to him and they said, your mother and brothers are here to, meet, to see you. Jesus said, who is my mother? Who are my brothers? if not those who hear the word of God and do it. In other words, Jesus equated us into his family. We become members of his family. And now think about it in these terms. Because our world is getting smaller, our families have expanded. So what was known as the family that lived at this specific address, say at our house, at the address of our house, 123 Main Street, now is the family that lives within our city, within our community, within our state. But it expands even greater because now our family is, of course, our country as well. And so when people are hit by tragedy in Oklahoma, they too, they look like us, they resemble us, they are breathing like us, they hurt like us, they bleed like us. They are members of our family. When things happen throughout the world, when we hear about Syria, that too is our family because we are part of now the global community, the global family. And this is my message for you today. As Armenian Christianity, we define ourselves as members of this world. If you look at your address, 123 Main Street, any town within a state in this union, United States, within North America, and that North America belongs to a hemisphere. That hemisphere belongs to planet Earth. If you were to write out your address, planet Earth would be on your address. And that you are responsible for. You are responsible for that planet. You are responsible for others. To have compassion, to reach out, to care for other people. And this is a responsibility that we cannot shirk. When people hurt in Oklahoma, yes, it's our responsibility because you know why? Because tomorrow you're going to hurt. The next day, your neighbor's going to hurt. And who's going to care if not all of us? We need to start understanding ourselves as citizens of this world. And that's beautiful because as you expand it even farther, it goes citizens of the solar system, because one day, like it or not, when we make contact with other people who happen to be in this universe, way out there, right? You want to belong to something that God has created you for. Now you say you're talking about science fiction, Father Voskin. What is all this? How does this pertain to Armenian Christianity today? Well, I'm glad you asked, because it exactly is Christ's message. You see, God wanted to teach us that we are all of his children. It used to be called the chosen people. And what God wanted to say is, everyone is chosen. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what class system you belong in. It doesn't matter what color you, your skin is. It doesn't matter what ethnicity you are. You are all my children. And this is why he took human form. And when he came, he says, as St. John the Evangelist says so beautifully, he came to his own, but people didn't understand him. And he gave everyone the power to become children of God. So all of this I say as a prelude for us to understand that the real Christian message is one of us understanding ourselves as God's children. And one of us understanding that God so loved us that there is no separation. There is no such thing as the chosen people because you are chosen. We are chosen. We are chosen because we are God's children. I want you to understand that concept because it is fundamental to the Armenian Christian understanding. When we baptize a child in the church, or whatever, somebody of, of um, mature height, whoever is baptized. Once they enter into that, uh, to the water 
and they are born again out of the font of baptism. The priest, the deacons, they sing a song. It says, Asfals, Chosets, Avi, Partsans. And one of the verses in there, it says, Nor Israel, Gochetzak. It says, The new Israel is called now. Well, what does that mean? The chosen ones? Israel means the people of God. When you are baptized, when you enter into Christianity, when you become a member of the Christian church, the Christian family, you are that new chosen people, the new people of God. And so is everyone else. Everyone else on this planet is a child of God. That's why there's a beautiful expression that teaches us how important it is to love one another. It says, for God, all wars are civil wars. Think about that for a moment. We call civil wars the wars that take place within a country, but for God, any war that takes place is a civil war because they're all of his children. And if God does not separate us, why do we separate one another? Jesus so beautifully says, your heavenly father makes the sun shine on the good and the bad. Do not judge. And in the same way, we don't have that right to delineate, to say that one is this person or this person. We are called to be ambassadors of Christ's love everywhere we go. And to everyone we encounter, make this a reality. It takes these tragedies, unfortunately, such as the one that took place in Oklahoma, to awaken us to our responsibility as Christians. I'm inviting you, get active in your church. Get active all around you in your communities. Be the ambassador of Christ's love wherever you can. And do your best. Yes, when tragedy befalls people, be out there with compassion. If you can't be out there on the front lines, be out there with your checkbook. Be out there with your donations. Be out there by talking about it. Take a moment now to write a message to the people out there in Oklahoma. Even if you can't contribute, write a message. Just like a few months ago when Newtown, Connecticut was hurting, we took the time to write to them an expression of love, an expression of telling them, like that, tw uh, like that uh, tweet that went out a couple days ago. It was so basic and I loved it so much. It said, lean on us. It is the tweet that was sent out to Oklahoma. What a beautiful message. Lean on us. You can lean on us. And let the world know that they can lean on us as Armenian Christians. I invite you to get involved. Get involved in your church. Make Christ's message a real message in your lives. I look forward to spending next week with you. Until then, I want to remind you to always give praise and glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.